All right, so what's up? So hopefully that tab was helpful. And if it was, please leave a like for the algorithm. And as usual, you can find the tab both in Guitar Pro format and in PDF format in the description where you also can find the settings, you know, the effects and amps and everything that I used for this recording. And for this part of the video, as usual, I like to elaborate on some things. And the first thing is the verse or intro riff, where I found that John does this uh, small <laughs> variation. Uh, so if I start playing the riff, you know that last note there, I find that sometimes he plays it only once, like I did now, and sometimes he plays it twice, you know. So if you play it twice, you know, so twice there. Um, and I think that he actually only plays it once. Uh, the first time uh, that you hear the riff, which is in the intro where you only have uh, the guitar, so that is when you can hear it the most clearly. Uh, but I think that pretty much for the rest of the song he plays that note twice, so you can be aware of that because I didn't include that in the tab. I, in the tab I only played that note once, so <laughs> if you're picky about details, <laughs> that's something you can uh, catch uh, there uh, if you want to play it more correctly. And when it comes to the chorus, you know, we have... Uh, so you can note that we have these bass notes. Uh, and you actually, if you listen carefully, you can hear a second guitar that plays the chord of those bass notes. So here we have... D minor. So you can, if you listen closely, I think it is on left speaker here, something like... Uh, but I think, you know, this, this guitar... <laughs> which I can't play, uh, is uh, more fun to play, so I focus on that in the tab. I didn't include, you know, this guitar in the tab. But you know, after solo you only have uh, this guitar, you know, that plays this chord for the chorus. Um, so then I show that guitar, you know, where you play. So for that part you only have one guitar instead of two, like you have in the chorus. And lastly I like to elaborate on the solo because it seems like it is quite simple, but actually it is a little bit interesting when it comes to the rhythm because it is a little bit off to the rhythm. So I found that, you know, when you end the solo there, you know... You know, when you switch to this note down here, it can actually be hard to get the timing right on uh, this note because you actually or at least I've had the tendency that I wanted to play it later than John did in the song and that is because the rhythm is a little bit off in a cool uh, rhythmic effect uh, kind of way, uh, if that makes any sense. So hopefully <laughs> that made some sense, so that is something you can be aware of. And you can also note that for the chord after the solo, you know, you switch to the second chord uh, before the second bar starts, so you can no notice that if you listen to the metronome there. Uh, so that is also an interesting rhythmic effect. Uh, but when you play the, the third chord, you play that on time when the third bar starts. But then again, when you switch, you know, to the fourth chord, same thing as the second chord. You start a little bit earlier uh, than when the next bar uh, starts. You start before that bar. Uh, so that is also an interesting rhythmic effect and also you know you can note that for you know this when you end uh, the <laughs> bridge part or whatever you want to call it you're a little bit off beat or you are off beat there um, which is a quite cool interesting effect I really like the drums for that part it's really really cool I think um, and also I don't know exactly if that disturbing pattern that I wrote down in the tab is exactly like John plays here because I have a really hard time to hear exactly how, how he plays it uh, but I think it's something that can be good to start with if you don't have any ideas yourself. All right, so that is everything I wanted to say for this lesson. So now go and play along to the song because, you know, I have done that <laughs> many times now. And it's a real blast, you know, it's really fun, you know, this verse riff is a really flow state to play that riff. Uh, or pretty much the whole song is a flow state. So, uh, yeah, really fun song to play. Uh, thank you very much for the requests on this lesson and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.